How to circumvent an internet proxy. Some governments and organizations employ proxy servers to filter web content, permitting access to some websites while blocking others. Here are several ways to get around these censorship policies. You will need a computer with internet access and technical skill. Optional, appropriate software. Accessing restricted content can be a serious violation of the law in certain places. It may also violate workplace policies. Proceed with circumvention practices cautiously. Step 1. Get a grasp of the basic process. A content filtering proxy server controls access to web content. You can bypass these controls and view restricted pages by using circumvention technology, which creates an alternate path to your web destination. There are several types of circumvention methods, each with pros and cons. Step 2. One simple technique is to try viewing cached pages, which are copies of original web pages a search engine has indexed. If a website is blocked, click on the cached link that usually appears beneath each search result. You'll access the page through the search engine's servers, not from the restricted website itself. Caching services are blocked in some countries, however. Some sites also offer alternate domain names, which may escape internet filters. Step 3. Another way to get around restrictive policies is to connect to an open public proxy server, which acts as a middleman between you and the content you request. Find one by searching for an open public proxy online. Then, type its IP address into your browser's network settings. When you request web content, you do so through this other server. Although they may not ask for personal information, open proxies are risky because they can record the location of the computer you're using and the websites you visit. In fact, sometimes an advertised open public proxy is really a trap to catch people trying to get around content filters. If anonymous browsing is essential, this method may not be for you. Step 4. Another middleman option is a web-based circumvention service, a third-party website that retrieves the page you're trying to access and returns the content to you, bypassing the proxy. To anyone trying to view your internet traffic, it will appear that you're only accessing the third-party website. Try one by typing web proxy into a search engine. Once you're on the circumventor site, enter the web address you want to access. Some web-based circumvention services are free, while others charge a fee. Make sure you investigate any costs before signing up. Keep in mind that internet filtering applications often have these services on their block lists already. Also, information transmitted through these services is often not encrypted, web-based email may not work with them, and they may record your browsing history. Step 5. A more thorough method is the use of either tunneling or anonymizing software. Both types carry a lower risk of being blocked or identified, but also tend to be more difficult to use without technical expertise. You will also likely need your own computer to download software, though some can run off a USB flash drive. Tunneling software encapsulates information through a secure connection, hiding your internet history. Anonymizing software generally routes traffic through a complex network that is extremely difficult to trace. By disguising traffic, both methods will help you reach an otherwise blocked site. Search online for tunneling software or anonymizing software for options. The use of any circumvention technology carries some risk. No method guarantees complete anonymity, and evidence of downloaded software could land you in trouble in certain countries. Recent advances have made tracing internet traffic more complex, however. One example is the Tor Browser Bundle, which leaves virtually no trace on a computer and anonymizes your internet use. Step 6. New circumvention techniques pop up all the time, and it can take a while before internet filtering proxies discover and block them. You may need to alternate between different methods for the best results. Did you know? The website LGoog allowed users blocked from Google to access the search engine. 